Have you ever followed a company so closely that one announcement suddenly flips everything you thought you knew? That's exactly what just happened with Aptera. Because out of nowhere, the company known for extreme efficiency, radical simplification, and solar-first design is now exploring something almost nobody expected. A transmission. And not just any transmission. A two-speed system designed specifically for electric vehicles. At first glance, that sounds almost contradictory. Why would the world's most efficient aerodynamic EV suddenly flirt with a drivetrain upgrade you usually see in high-performance brands like Porsche? Why now? What does this change? And more importantly, how much efficiency is actually hiding behind this decision? But before we get into the transmission surprise, there's another development that's equally important and might be the quiet beginning of something bigger. Aptera's latest updates didn't just highlight their crowdfunding success, they quietly revealed something that marks a major milestone in any startup's life. Their first official product revenue. It didn't come from vehicles. It came from solar. Although the company hasn't publicly named their first customer, all signs point to Polydrops, a company producing futuristic trailers. And the idea that Polydrops owners will soon tow trailers powered, cooled, and energized by Aptera-branded solar panels is actually pretty incredible. Think about it. HVAC powered by sunlight. Phones and appliances charged for free. Off-grid capability created entirely by Aptera's solar system. For the first time, a paying customer is using Aptera solar technology in real-world conditions. That means suppliers get larger orders. Larger orders mean lower costs. Lower costs mean better margins when the vehicle enters production. This isn't enough to fund their entire manufacturing ramp, but it does something more strategic. It signals to the industry that Aptera's solar tech is real, shippable, and commercially viable. But then, only hours after that update video, Aptera made another announcement, one that caught almost everyone off guard. Aptera revealed a collaboration with InMotive, a company building a two-speed transmission optimized for electric motors. And instantly, people asked the same questions. Wait, isn't the Vitesco EMR3 motor already locked in? Why would they add a transmission? Isn't that complexity? Is this replacing anything? The quick answers are, no, it's not replacing the EMR3. Yes, it works with the existing motor. And no, this isn't a last minute scramble. These talks likely began a year ago or more. Aptera has never made partnership announcements lightly. They tend to reveal things long after negotiations, testing, and feasibility discussions have been going on behind the scenes. InMotive itself isn't new. They even have a joint development agreement with Suzuki, meaning this is not a startup working with a startup situation. This is a proven company working on technology major automakers are now evaluating. So, why all the curiosity? Because people hear the word transmission and immediately imagine combustion-era complexity, maintenance headaches, and gearbox failures. But this system is not that. This isn't a legacy transmission. It's an EV-specific, simplified, efficient two-gear design built to solve a very specific EV weakness, high-speed efficiency loss. Most EVs operate with a single gear because electric motors naturally produce instant torque and can spin incredibly fast. But there's a catch. At high speeds, electric motors burn more energy because the RPMs climb higher to maintain velocity. A two-speed transmission changes that. Instead of forcing the motor to scream at high RPM on the highway, it switches to a higher gear. That reduces motor load which reduces heat, which reduces energy usage, which increases range, especially at highway speeds. And if that sounds theoretical, 
Let's look at real-world evidence. The Porsche Taycan was the first widely recognized EV to use a two-speed transmission. At the time, many were skeptical. But then, real-world testing began. Road tests showed Taycans exceeding their EPA-rated range, sometimes by 60 to 70 extra miles, primarily thanks to the two-speed system maintaining highway efficiency. Not long after, Mercedes announced that their upcoming electric CLA platform would also incorporate a two-speed EV transmission to maximize distance per charge. Neither of these companies are efficiency-first startups. They're high-performance, premium brands. And if they find substantial range gains from two gears, imagine what an ultralight aerodynamic vehicle like Aptera could do. Aptera's announcement doesn't outright say whether the two-speed system is guaranteed for the final production vehicle. But what it does say is much more telling. The in-motive transmission is being incorporated into PI3, their next pre-production test vehicle. This means it's a physical component, not a software model. It's already being integrated. Road testing will begin shortly. Side-by-side -side comparison tests are possible. If Aptera sees only a 1-2% to boost in efficiency, they might leave it out. But if they find a 10-15% to range improvement, the number in motive claims is possible, then suddenly the cost makes sense. A $150 part that increases real-world range by double digits for a solar EV designed to gain miles from sunlight, that's not just a small upgrade, it's a strategic advantage. Because Aptera isn't just selling efficiency, it's selling free miles, miles created from sunlight. Every percentage point of efficiency amplifies that promise. Some people argue, why are they investigating anything new? Just get into production. But they've already funded the small things, and even some of the big things, like the massive carbon fiber molding presses, are paid for. What's left are the extremely expensive elements like casting tooling and injection molding for interior parts. Crowdfunding can't instantly cover everything, but exploring a $150 efficiency upgrade doesn't slow down manufacturing. It simply reveals options that might unlock more performance without major cost. And realistically, Aptera has already maxed out the easy wins. Aerodynamics? Optimized. Rolling resistance? Already minimized. Vehicle shape? As efficient as physics allows. The next frontier is the drivetrain. Nothing else offers meaningful improvement. For most EVs, a 10% range boost is nice. For Aptera, it's transformative, because higher efficiency means more daily solar miles, more practical long-distance driving, fewer required charging stops, a stronger lifetime value for the owner. If the production vehicle ends up at 8 to 9 miles per kilowatt hour, solar range drops below their earliest projections. But if Aptera pushes beyond 10 miles per kilowatt hour, suddenly their original ambitions become realistic again. A two-speed transmission might be the missing piece to reclaim that upper tier of efficiency. People also worry about added failure points. So, I looked into real-world reliability history. The Porsche Taycan's issues are well known. Battery concerns, software bugs, build quality quirks. But the two-speed transmission? There are no widespread failures or negative patterns associated with it. Because it's simpler, lighter, and paired with a predictable electric motor, it doesn't face the stresses combustion-era transmissions dealt with. Now imagine the scenario Aptera is testing toward. A vehicle so aerodynamic that even small drivetrain optimizations translate into huge benefits. A powertrain so efficient that solar charging becomes more meaningful than ever. A lightweight EV achieving numbers that seem unrealistic for anything on the road today. 
Maybe they won't hit 10 plus miles per kilowatt hour. Maybe external variables like weather and wind will limit real world results. But even approaching numbers like that would place Aptera in a league of its own. And that's why this two-speed system matters. Not because it's flashy, not because it's trendy, but because it aligns perfectly with Aptera's mission. Get the most miles from the least amount of energy. As PI3 hits the road, we'll finally get answers to the questions everyone is asking. How much real-world range does it add? Does it make highway driving significantly more efficient? Is it worth the small added cost and complexity? Whatever the outcome, it's exciting to see Aptera exploring every possible path to maximize energy efficiency and push solar electric mobility to its limit.